Hey y'all, this is Casey from Pizzazz, and um, I know that a lot of you that are wanting to start lettering don't always know you go to the craft store, you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's, wherever you're going, and you get overwhelmed with the options. So I wanted to show you a really easy starter kit and kind of what you can do with it. So this is the Tombow Beginner Lettering Set. It has got two dual brush pens, a drawing pencil, a calligraphy pen, a permanent marker, an eraser, and a little tip sheet okay so this is a great thing to get started with and I'm gonna show you today kind of how to use some of it so I am doing this on Bristol board I just like the smoothness of it I'm just gonna flip this back and I'm just gonna go through a few of these products so that when you buy this you know what in the world each one does so first off it comes with a hard pencil now this pencil it says 4H right there it's smudge proof Okay, that's great when you're lettering. So this is a great one to just start sketching your design. So I'm going to do a very simple word right now. I'm gonna do the word hey. Okay, this is simple, but it's fun because it has lots of fun little motions. So I'm gonna come do part of my H, picking my pencil up. And then for my Y, I'm gonna do like a fun little something there. Okay, so I've kind of sketched it out. Now, a lot of times when we are Lettering, you know, we'll teach you about thickening the downstroke, and that's something that you could come and draw it down, or you can just know that when you're doing it with your pen that you're going to thicken up coming down. Now, I'm going to start off with my favorite of the set, and that's going to be both of the dual tip Tombow brushes, okay? So, these are my favorite because I like to write big. So, we've got two of these other pens in here, and they're both great. So, this is a smaller brush tip. Um, so you can, and I'll show, I'll demo this in a bit. While this is a much bigger brush tip, this one is not a brush tip. They're just two different sizes of permanent marker. So you could use this for like different detail type stuff. So, um, so here we go. I'm going to show you just first of all with my favorites. All right, so that's going to be <clears throat> both of the Tombow pens. Now they are dual tipped because you can use the small side, um, but I am going to be using the brush tip side. Now, I don't know if you can see, can you even see where I penciled off my, so I penciled off my design. Remember, it's with a smudge proof pencil, so you know, it's right there. But what's a great thing that comes with this kit that I forgot to mention is this little eraser. This is a great eraser with this pencil and especially on um, Bristol paper because, I mean, it erases really nicely. I'm not sure. You probably can't see anything. That I got erased right in here and it, right, it just erases really good. So um, that's always good when you're sketching lettering and you <laughs> are nervous about making mistakes. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take my black pen. Now with this, by sketching it out first, what that does for me, it allows my mind to not think about the letters anymore and just think about the push and the pull of my pen. So, what I mean by that is, you know, I'm not going to press hard, and right here, I'm going to press a little harder. I still like to come back and thicken it up just a bit. Okay, and I'm not going to think about the shape. I'm just thinking about the thicks and the thins right now. Thin, thick, thin. I still want to even, I like to, I like to really exaggerate the thicks. So, I'll go back in and do that. Thick, thin. I'm going to thicken them up a little bit more. Okay, so I really just traced my pencil line there. Now, there are a few things you can kind of learn from this. One is to have fun with these descenders, the things that go below. Like if you had a line here for your um, like imaginary little handwriting line, the, the letters that descend, uh, they're just, you can have fun with them. So you could have done, I could have done Y's in several different ways. I could have, I'll, I'll tear this off and just show you. So we did the Y like this. We could have done it like that okay so there's lots of different ways that you could do the Y's. just have fun with those all right so i did that with my black i'm going to put my lid back on and now i'm going to come with the gray now there is some technical um teaching about where to put the shadow right now i'll just kind of tell you basically we're going to keep it like on the underside and like on all these down strokes we're going to keep it on the right side so like here's a down stroke this is the left side this is the right i'm going to keep it on the right here I'll go under and it's gonna be on the right side of that. But I'm gonna do it kind of quick. I'm gonna kind of just follow the letters that I've got with my gray. 
So, here we go. Y'all see how it is creating a shadow? So, yes, there is a little bit to think about, but even if you just added a little bit of gray and didn't even know the rules, you'd be all right because it gives just that element of shadow with your Tombow pen. So, pretty cool, huh? Um, so, I love it. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Rebecca. Um, Shannon says she loves the Tombow. So do I. Now, I will say I love them on... Um, on Bristol paper we have got um, some free lettering uh, some free lettering downloads for y'all the traceables I'm looking around for them right here they're not at my fingertips oh yeah they are so um, but if you do these traceables that you have seen us uh, promote over the past few days we've been telling y'all they're free grab them grab them but here's the deal if you print these out on regular copy paper I wouldn't use the Tombow markers okay I'm using it on this Bristol paper because they blend well on there and they're really smooth uh, you can use plain all markers on the other okay so let me just talk to you a little bit about what the other pens do just so if you get this kit remember it's this kit that we're talking about um, you'll know what to do so this one is my favorite I'm just doing my, my black and my gray and I think it's my favorite <clears throat> because I like big <clears throat> ever since I was a kid like I um my mom at like two years old saw me like with double fisted crayons and rah, all over the wall because it was a big blank white wall and it just looks so fun to draw big. <laughs> I just like big, okay? So um, that's why I'm more prone to the bigger markers. Again, you see this takes up the whole page. I just like, I like big. So these other markers are not gonna be big, <laughs> but, but they're good for privacy. So let me just show you. All right, so this one is just, um, it is not a brush tip. It's just got two different edges. And this is like, if you were practicing just forming your letters, this would be a good one. If you're not thinking about the thicks and the thins, if you're just thinking about how to form them. Now, of course the pencil is just fine too, but you know, you can just, it's no brush. You don't have to worry about that. It's just permanent marker, okay? The other side is the same thing, just a little bit thinner, okay? So like if you wanted to highlight anything with a thin marker, you could. And add some shadow. You might just have a smaller, if you do bullet journaling, you just might have a smaller little area um, and you can't use the other one, so small area. It's nice little brush okay I'm just making up words obviously <laughs> okay so you see that I can fit a small you know I can write small here but there's no like brush lettering to it whereas the other pen that also comes in this pack does have a brush tip so you can practice this same word and you can practice just like we did with the fix and the thin with the dual brush Tombow pen you can use this as well so let me just kind of zoom in a little well I always have trouble zooming in when I'm doing live. Okay. So, let's just say you've got this. You can just practice on a small scale. See the thins and the thicks? Now, you may want to practice just that stroke over and over again. Because the, the, um, the beauty of the brush tip is that you can get thicks and thins. On this one, on this other pen that we just showed you, I can't get a thick and a thin like that because it doesn't, it doesn't change. It's just one hard tip. Now I can come back. Thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick. Okay, so you see? So this is just a smaller pen that will help you work with your brush lettering. So I'm just kind of showing you what is in the packet so you will kind of know what to do with it all. So again, this is one simple little lettering. The, the main thing with lettering is to start, um, just to start, <laughs> just start practicing. And because I know just the starting can be intimidating for you, we are trying to give you as many um, tools as we can. So one easy tool is our traceables. Okay, you can download these, it's a free download. Just trace them and start to get that muscle memory and then if you go to the store and you're wanting to like get a few markers this is a great thing just to get started so um, I might do one more little something something with my black and gray what can I write Debbie says I feel clumsy with my flaring since I'm left-handed what do you mean you're flaring do you mean like the thickening of the downstroke um, 
you should uh, there we have a lot of we've had this question before so I went into our club Debbie and I asked our you know how many of you are left-handed and does it affect you and they've all figured out ways to where they you know they can do it and if you will watch uh, Crystal Witten is another hand letter who is she I mean that's what she's known for that's her whole business she wrote a book called Oh, goodness, I forgot. Hand lettering prayer journal, I think. Or maybe it's just a prayer journal. Um, and she is left-handed. So go follow her and be encouraged. It is not impossible. All right, so I don't know really what I'm going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to do one of our traceables, okay? So this is when you get the traceables. Yes, you can trace it. But then I also like for you to look at it and draw it over here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to look at my traceable and try to redraw it. So I'm going to do the word brave first. Now remember, we just do one stroke at a time. Pick that pen up. And we'll come back and thicken things down. I like to think about the formation of everything first. All right, so we have looked at our traceable. That's one of the ways that you can use it. After you trace it, try to do it on your own. That is exactly how I taught myself, um, is just by finding different fonts that I liked, studying them. Where, you know, where do they curve? Where does the E cross? Is it at the top, at the bottom? How do they fit into each other? I just studied other fonts and started just copying what I saw. That is one of the best ways to start learning. So, if you will download these, start copying what you see, you will um, kind of start to develop your own style in no time. I promise, I promise, I promise. It's, it is not something that people are just born with or they're not. This is a learned skill. Um, that's why we teach it in the lettering club because we know that it's possible for you to learn it because I did my own self. I used to hate my lettering. And, uh, and then I taught myself. All right, so here we go. We did the Be Brave. Now we're gonna come back with our gray. Remember, now I love color. I'm using these colors because this is what is in this starter kit and I want you to see that yes, you can create awesome art even with um, limited color palette here. And again, if you missed the beginning of our video, I am on Bristol paper. Just a smooth, you just want a smooth paper. Okay, and there you've got it. So, I hope that helps. I hope that kind of eliminates a little bit of overwhelm if you go to the store and just want a few things to, to start sketching. If you want a smudge proof pen, if you want some Tombows but you don't want to buy the whole pack just yet, if you want to give your hand a shot at the smaller brush tip pens, um, you've got it all right here. And this is not a paid advertisement. <laughs> I'm just showing you this because it's in our studio. We bought it because we know that it is a good, quick little starter kit that we are excited about. So anyway, and again, if you want our traceables, um, just let us know. We'll send you the link. And um, and yeah, we uh, let us know if you've got any questions about the lettering club. We hear people asking about that all the time. Those doors are opening later in the month. Um, so keep an eye out for sure. All right, let me know if you've got any questions. We'll see y'all later.